In this video, I'm going to explain the uh, um, percentage topic to help you calculate percentage in any combination with uh, numbers. So uh, we always, uh, uh, the concept of uh, percentage always implies the uh, existence of the number, which is we call base from which the percentage is being calculated. So the percentage is, uh, the by itself uh, cannot exist, obviously. So it's always um, uh, connected to some number, and that number is we call base. So I'm going to start with uh, uh, the basic uh, calculation, basic um, uh, calculation of percentage that everybody knows. And then I will elevate, but I need that to show the how we are going to calculate and all percentages we are going to calculate exactly same way by creating proportion. That's the key part. Okay, so question number one. Find one percent. One percent of the number, well, of seventy-two. It's good enough. So seventy-two. Uh, actually, it's our going to be our base. So how I'm going to make? Well, I know everybody knows this. Uh, seventy-two times zero point zero one, but that's not my point. My point to show you how we are going to use the standard method. And this way, any combination of uh, of percentage, we can solve one in the same way, okay? So 72 is a base number, which means base number, when we are talking about it, that means 72 is our 100% because everything else is going to be calculated from this 72, okay? And we need to find 1%. How much is that 1%? It's X. Look how I'm doing. Always the base number, it's going to be 100%. And then if it's given number, I'm writing down under number. If it's given percentage, I'm writing under percentage. There can be all kinds of uh, the different um, uh, the, um, uh, proportions can be created. But I, I'm, at the end, once I explain, I'll give you a couple of different versions of uh, proportion. But right now, I, we want to stick to one method. So I won't confuse you with loading on you or several methods. So 72 is our 100%. And uh, we need to know how much is 1%. So what is important to know, we write down percentage under percentage in this method and number under number. So from there, to find the X, what I'm doing, I'm doing kind of cross multiplication. Look like, looks how I'm going to do. So 100 time, X times 100 equals 72 times one. Or I like to say, which is easier way, for me at least. So you multiply the pair of uh, cross numbers that exist and not x, like 72 and 1. Okay, so just like here, we wrote down x is equal 72 times 1. And we divide by the pair of x, which is going to be 100, right? Okay, divided by 100. And we are getting 0 0.72. Okay. Um, next one. Now, this what is interesting, x can be in any of these four positions. X can be here. Now we looked, explored where x is in this position. Then we can look, x is in this position. X is in position of 100%. X is in the position of 1% or any other percentage. So there are four cases can be with percentage. 
and I'm going to explore all four cases. All right, next, how many percent is the number 81 from the number 90? How many percent, which is X percent, right, is 81 from 90? So 81 is an X percent from 90. So what we're we gonna do? What is our base number? Is 90, yes? So our 90 is going to be 100%. So in, in this example, 81 is given. So our whatever was x in previous case, here we have as a known number, 81. And in this case, x is question mark because we don't know how many percent. So we moved now x, our x was in this position. Now our, our x in this position. Proportion, we are doing exactly the same way, no difference at all. We are taking, multiplying the pair of uh, numbers that cross, uh, in cross position uh, that exist, that, that don't have x, which is 81 and 100. And we divide by the pair of x, which is 90. So x is equal 81 times 100 and divide by 90 okay if we solve it what is going to happen it's going to be 90. this uh, one zero is gone with this one zero and then nine is cancelled with this 81 which is going to be nine okay and nine times ten 90. okay um the answer is 90%, right? Okay. Moving to next uh, question. So, what is going to be next question? Let's see. How many percent is the number 320 of the number 50? Number three. How many percent is the number? It's same, a similar way, same, same way, X percent. You will understand why I chose this case. How many percent is the number 320 of 50? Okay. So we are going to solve exactly the uh, same way, which is our base number is going to be 50 because uh, everything is dancing from this 50. X percent, 320 is of, uh, the, of 50. So 50 is our base number. So 50 is our 100%, yes? But we need to know how many percent is 320. So number writing under number and percentage under percentage. Solution is nothing new, you already know. So X gonna be equal. So 320 times 100 times 100 and divided by 50, which means this is 1, this is 2, right? And the answer is going to be 640, which means the uh, x is equal 640%. So 320 is 640% of 50. This is why I uh, picked up this example because so you will know how you can calculate it can hold X percentage can hold a percentage higher than 100 because if you take 320 
It's uh, mm, uh, 50 is uh, 320. How many times is greater than uh, 50? Six and something times, right? All right. Next question. Find the number if 12% of that number, meaning X number, is equal 36. Okay. Find the number if 12% of that number is 36. So what do we have? We have 36 is our 12%. Our base number is going to be X. We don't know how much it is, right? Base number is going to be our 100%. So from here, X is equal. What we are doing, the values of crossed pairs, so which is 36 times 100, and dividing by the pair of X, which is 12. Yes? So it's going to be 1. This is 3. And the answer is going to be 300. So 300 is our base number. So which means uh, 36 is a 12% of 300. Okay? So we solved all positions. We find found position of x in here, found position of x in the here, found position of x here. The here is not, we can't find position because uh, it's 100%, right? All right. Now, but not necessarily we're always going to have 100%. Let's solve the problem where we don't know how many percent is going to be there. Maybe not 100%, but it's some other percentage. Let's see what we have here. Um, so, um, find the number... No, if if twelve is let's say ten percent of the number sixteen, then how many percent? It is um, how many percent? is 60. Oops. How many percent is 60? Okay, 12 we know is 10%, but well, we don't know how many percent is 60, because 60 in this case is not a base, uh, because base is, well, um, in a sense of, yes, we are uh, dancing from 60, we need to find from 60, but our 60 here is not, it's not necessarily 100% because we don't know. So we just want to know if 12 is 10%, how many percent is 60? That's it. Okay, I guess we can call it base, okay. But not necessarily base can be 100%. Let me make such note. Okay, so from here, what do we have? X is equal 60 times 10 divided by 12, right? So what's going to happen? 12, uh, 60 and 12, it's going to be 5, right? 1, let me change this. 1 and 5. Yes? And 5 times 10 is 50%. See? So if 12 is 10%, then 60 is 50%. If we want to know which number is 100%, okay, this is A, and we know if 12 is 10%, then which number is 100%? Mm, 
meaning x number, what x number is 100%. That's a different story. So if 12 is 10%, then 100% is x. So x is equal 12 times 100 divided by 10. This is gone, this is 10. So 120, it's going to be our number that is 100%. Our number that is 100%. Next question, number six. So what do we have? Um, we have the number increased uh, by by five percent okay number increased by five percent okay how many times has increased th that number how many times has increased that number Okay, so let's say the number that increased by 5 is uh, C. C is the number before increase. Before increase by 5%. D is the number after increase, okay? So what do we have? We have number C that was before increase and we increase by 5%. So how much will be 5%? 0 0.05, right? Decimal notation times C, right? So it's going to be plus, it will be increased by 5%, 0 0.05C. And this is going to be equal D. Yes? Okay. So from here, 1.05C is equal D. So what does that mean? That means the number, let me write down answer. The number increased by 1.05 times. The number increased by 1.05 zero five times okay all right next question number seven okay number d is uh, less than number c by 15%. Okay. What part is uh, D makes from C? What part uh, of C is number B? Let me write down. What part of C is 
Number B. D. Okay, here is important to mention that in this example, our base number is going to be which one? C. C is base number because we, cal we calculate everything from C. So C is our base number. All right. So therefore, so we are, uh, if D is a 15% of number C, which means D is going to be equal, D is less than 15% from C. So how much is 15% of C? It's going to be 0 0.15C, right? 15% divided by 100. So, and it's, uh, that's going to give us, if I take number C, right, and reduce it by 15%, which is going to be 0 0.15C, I will get number D. Yes? Okay. And this is going to be equal. D is equal. 0 0.85. C. And from here, number D is 0 0.85 portion of C. Okay. And lastly, let me solve the problem that involved percentage. So that's going to be question number eight. Fresh fruit contains 82% of water. So, 82% of water. And dried fruit contains 20%. Okay. Eighty-two percent of water, dried fruit, uh, twenty percent of water. Okay. How many kilos of dried fruit will come from thousand kilo fresh fruit? So. How many kilos of dried fruits so of dried fruits will come from 1,000 kilo fresh fruit. Okay, interesting question. All right. We know that both fresh fruit and dry fruit uh, consist of... Uh, dry mass, right, and water. And when the fruit is dried, the water partially evaporates, right? The mass decreases accordingly, and the mass of the dry substance remains unchanged, right? So, let's see. If I have, in the case of fresh fruit, this piece is water, which is 80%, and this piece is dry substance. Okay? All right. In the case of dry fruit,
This portion is water. And this portion is dry substance. Okay, right? So we can understand. Since fresh fruit contains 82%, then the drier, uh, the dry matter is 18%, right? So if 80% is a water, then dry substance for fresh fruit from rather saying or for uh, fresh fruit fruit is a uh, hundred minus hundred percent minus eighty two percent which is equal 18%. Yes? Okay. So, now, if this is uh, for, uh, the for fresh fruits, um, then uh, what if I have 1,000 kilos? Then I'm going to take 0 0.18, 18%, right? 0 0.18 multiplied by 1,000. And that is going to be 180 kilos, right? So we're going to get, this is going to be a dry substance from 1,000 kilo of fresh fruit. All right. In dried fruits, water is 20%. And dry substance is 80%, right? If it's 20%, right, of water, then I'm writing down it's going to be 80% dry substance. Yes? If 80% of water, then 18% is going to be dry substance. Okay, by designing, let's say, if I accept X as a mass of dried fruit, S, X is a mass of dried fruit, okay, uh, the that derived from thousand kilos of fresh fruit, then we can make proportion, which means in dried fruit water is twenty percent, and dry substance eighty percent. Okay, this is for dried fruits. For fresh, it's going to be 18%, no, 82% actually, 82% is water. And 18% is substance. Okay, so let's make from here proportion. So if X is our dried fruit, so to find out how many will come out of a thousand uh, kilograms, we make proportion. If 180, is 80%, right? 
then 100% um, is going to be x. So, one more time, if dry fruit has water, 20%, and dry substance, 80%, okay, then accepting X is a mass of dry fruit that derived from 1,000 kilograms of fresh fruit, we are going to write down the following proportion. X is a hundred percent, it's our hundred percent, and 180 is our 80 percent. So from here, what do we have? X is gonna be here equal 180 times 100 and divided by 80 percent. So that is going to be, this zero is gone with this zero, eight and uh, 10, we can reduce by two, it's gonna be four. This is gonna be five, right? 18 and four, we can reduce by two. Four divided by two is two. 18 because divided by two is nine. And the result is going to be nine times five divided by two. 45 divided by two, 22 and half, yeah? Okay. Or 225, actually, 225 kilos, yeah. Kilos. So, the answer to this uh, word problem is going to be 225 kilos, which is what we needed uh, from the word problem, right? So we needed to find out how many kilos of dry food will come from 1,000. Okay, if dry food, uh, it's uh, 180 gram, we had calculated from here. It, it's a uh, 80%, then uh, the rest is 100%, right? So, and we found out it makes 225%. Okay, that's all. Hopefully this helped you to uh, brush off the percentage if somebody is getting confused. And trust me, there are a lot of students who get confused with it. So hopefully this will straighten you up. All right. Thank you for watching and I see you in next video. Okie dokie.